Now, I've owned the FZR for over 10 years. It started out being a track bike only. It lived its life to be a track bike street bike. It then went on to be the Ferrari bike with a complete red paint job. It then went on to be the bike that you see now that took me a 900 hours to restore it with many, many new upgraded parts. It's got over 30,000 miles. I don't know the exact mileage. It's a 1991. And this is a bike that is extremely fun to ride because it has that Yamaha power band where nothing really happens until about 10 grand and then it feels like the four barrel carburetor opened up. It is a truly fun bike to ride no matter where you ride. Now it got real chilly overnight. It's cloudy. It's supposed to rain by lunchtime. So the idea is to get out of here early and try to get a couple hours of riding in. This time of year, the rides are really scenic and I try never to miss a day. So my day always starts off moving motorcycles around and I thought, well, I have the chance here. I had to move the R1 out too. I wanted to get a couple of pictures of them side by side. This is my, uh, my pair of 1,000cc Yamahas. And I don't want to ever forget to do this tire check on any of the bikes. I have found that to be very, very cheap insurance. And the day you don't, if you don't need it, even better, you ride with complete the confidence that your tires are great. But the day one is low, and believe me, that, that has happened from time to time. You pick up a stone or a nail or a, a razor blade or something. But anyway, I want to get the bike clean. This is supposed to be a really nice day. There's a chance of rain. I wanted to take that into account today too. But as always, I want to always start off with a nice clean bike no matter what. Now the two Yamahas, they're two very similar bikes. And one is, of course, a 91 and one is an 09. So they're, they're basically uh, two different eras of motorcycle. And back in the 90s when this was a, a brand new bike and you could just go to a dealer and buy one, I lusted for one, but because of my family situation, I didn't really have the money. Now that I've got one, I restored it. It took 900 hours to restore it. It's all out on the channel. And I have one of the 09s to compare it to. And it, it's hard not to like both of them, but they are, they are very different animals. And of course the cross plane is a whole different, whole different throttle feel. The 1234 FZR, a whole different, more like a big two stroke. They're both fun. I love having both of them in my collection. And I never get sick of riding these bikes. Even when the when the FZR was a Ferrari and we used to have fun with that. And now that we have one of each, I can really compare it. And you can see the progress that motorcycle manufacturers have really made. But they are both fun. All right, who's hungry this morning? Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Time is money. We start the day off going through the gears, get out on highway, and clean that engine out. Get a, get all that carbon out of the exhaust, and then we're ready. We're ready for a ride. One thing about this bike from the saddle from from where you sit on a motorcycle the sound is like an indie car it's wonderful i don't know how it sounds to, to law enforcement a mile away though that's the problem
And it's always good with this bike to try to stay out of highly populated areas when you want to go through the gears or you want to have some fun. It the, the problem is it's a great sound, it's wonderful, but not everybody agrees they want to listen to it during the day. And the truth is I've had at least five different mufflers on this bike over the years and I just gave up at the end and I said you know if they hear me coming that's going to be all I can do about it because I love I love that sound. And that's why even in this area that doesn't have a lot of population, that, that Valentine is a key part of enjoying a ride. And I guess the truth is, the louder the bike is, the, the more the, the radar detector is your friend. I never gave that a thought, but uh, it's possibly true. And because this is a no traction control bike with a quite a bit of power, you've got to really be careful feeding in that throttle. Now when I think of those 900 hours I spent over a whole winter, maybe even a little more than a winter, restoring this bike and the new forks and new parts I put on. It's it's got a ton of a ton of time and energy invested and it was well worth it. And anytime I'm at a meetup I always run into somebody that had an FCR, has one, they're sorry they sold it, and they're uh, they're oogling this one and uh it was a very popular bike back in the day. But anybody that's ever ridden one or anybody that has one knows the reality. It is an exciting power band. I'm not sure Yamaha didn't do that on purpose, but it's very, very different than a cross plane R1, even though the bikes are very similar, very different power band. Now I've got a well-worn set of Michelin twos on here. I can't wait to see how long they're gonna last. Then they're, they're not they're not brand new now. And try to put on a set of fives or sixes very soon. Thank Vlad for getting me to set of EBC rotors. This this was a great a great investment in upgrading the bike when I did the restoration. So glad I did it at the time. And the whole restoration of this motorcycle, all 900 hours are on our channel, and you've just got to do the search with my name in quotation marks or search on the channel. And FZR and the topic, paintwork, 
carbon fiber, brakes, tires, whatever. I try never to forget to thank John Pothier who helped me with a lot of laying out the graphics on this bike, the decals, the custom FZR logo. A lot of parts of this bike are just a labor of love. That paint job spanned many hundreds of hours and it's a very complex paint job. Well, we had a great time. There was no rain. The time to head back through the populated areas, which I try not to be uh, too obtrusive about it, and back into the neighborhood where, if you're too obtrusive, they let you know about it too. <laughs> the dogs bark at you. Anyway, this bike, always entertaining, always fun, never a disappointing moment for the whole ride. There was no rain at all, no chance of rain, and not a cloud in the sky. I, 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 I wish they would pay me to give the weather forecast. Anyway, the old FCR, always fun to ride, always fun going through the gears, and this was a really nice day, beautiful weather-wise day. But this bike has such a long history with me, and I, of course, have to thank Luciano for helping me find it. We found it. We went and got it. There's a long story. I'm gonna to have to. I'm gonna to have to make a dedicated video of the history of this bike, and all the years we used it as a track bike, and we really abused it. We really, we were all wore out a lot of tires, but had so much fun. And there's there's stories within stories about loading this bike into the trailer on one of our track days, having a little event, and it just was so much fun. And, and I look back at that time of my life when I used to do the track days with Luciano, and we never had a bad day. What, even a ride there and a ride back was fun. And a, there's stories within stories within stories, and that's what's great about motorcycling and the friends you make in motorcycling. Because everybody that has a passion for motorcycling, and there it is as a Ferrari, everybody that has a passion it's easy to find friends that have that passion and they're willing to work all through the winter like I did on this project. And they're willing to sacrifice and willing to ante up the money it takes to restore one of these old bikes and the time and the energy and finding the parts. And you've, you really develop friendships and you bond with a lot of people that have similar interests if you get into restoring old motorcycles. Now for me, it's truly a labor of love. But I know the friends I have through motorcycling, I wouldn't have them if I was, you know, playing tiddlywinks or doing something else or I don't know. But I know the passion of motorcycling. It's easy to find people that share it and you have so many things in common. And thank you guys so much for watching.